Deshaun Watson, new quarterback for the Browns. Everybody talks about his football IQ. Here's a little bit about what they like. So post game, um, one of the games he played a couple years ago against the Panthers, he was asked about why the, the ball didn't go downfield more. Here's Deshaun Watson's answer from a post game uh, against Panthers. Is there anything you guys can do as an offense to manufacture more opportunities for you to try to try them downfield, or was that kind of the only two or three opportunities you had in the game? Uh, I mean, do you know what coverage they were playing? Well, you, you said I'm, earlier. I'm, I'm just asking. I'm not. No, no, no. I, 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 I want. I want to cover. It's cover four. Yeah. So what the the Celtics are doing? They're playing deep. They're guarding number two corner sink and they trap two. So what they're doing is keeping everything in front. The linebackers are playing and then across. Kiki is playing in the middle. He stops everything and crosses the middle. He jumps everything that the safety is charging on number two. So if the safety is playing low, then we can take that. We have to hit double moves. Mm -hmm. We did the post because Reed stepped up on two with a out over the top. I didn't hit it. Same thing with Hop. In route, safety jumped up. He went vertical. I didn't hit it. That was the only two. After that, they played back. Mm -hmm. Cover two. Six, Buzz, which is safety, Reed comes in between Keithley, the outside linebacker. He plays deep. Got to get rid of the ball. Thank you. Let's welcome in Brad Ward from Brownswire.com as well as the All Eyes on Cleveland podcast. Brad, that was pretty impressive. He, he explained a coverage so that a non-football person could understand it. Yeah, uh, I could watch that all day, Dave. Uh, I've seen that multiple, multiple times. And, you know, that his ability to do that is what makes him special. I mean, he has elite physical traits. Uh, he's a, a spectacular athlete, a great leader in the locker room and whatnot. But that level of understanding um, and uh, kind of talking like a coach, seeing the field like a coach would, uh, is what makes him a top five quarterback, uh, in my opinion, you know, with on top of the physical stuff right that's what takes him to the next level and uh browns fans are in for a delight when he gets on the field this year i think yeah and again that would be why he appeals to a coach like andrew barry and a general manager like an and no uh, a coach like kevin Svansky and andrew barry 